Ray Lee with BevNet. We're here at Expo East 2016. I'm at the Numu booth with the co-founder and CEO, Joe Savino. Joe, how are you? Doing great, Ray. Good, good. How's your show going so far? Having a great show. Good, good. So Numu is a super premium line of uh, nut milks. Yeah. As you can see, we, uh, well, we plant, have some... Plant milks. I'm sorry, plant-based milks. Yes. Uh, and uh, you've under recently undergone... Uh, sort of a label revamp where you uh, have changed up a few things here and there. But before we even get into that, you know, what do you see as being the you know the driving force behind uh, consumer interest and retailer interest for that matter in the uh, alternative dairy category? Well, um, it's kind of interesting. It's it's both based on like clean ingredient, you know, demand for clean ingredient products, and also all dairy as a whole for sustainable products and more plant based products. You know, one of the interesting things that we see about, you know, your brand is that you're not just focused on one particular ingredient. Uh, right. You've got pistachio milk, you've got vanilla bean, you've got pecan, edamame even at this point, it's a new one, yes. cashew. Um, you know, why the variety? Why is it so important for you guys to market uh, such a broad variety of products? You know, almonds have their fun and they have their place, and it's really what we started out with with our chocolate almond milk, but we're trying to, you know, stay ahead of it be super innovative with our products, but still be somewhat familiar. So with the edamame milk, for example, we're taking something that's traditional and soy milk and trying to reinvigorate it and make it um, healthy again. And we're doing that through edamame, which is young soybeans. Now, uh, Numu was initially launched as uh, part of your other brand, which is Juicy, which is a cold-pressed juice brand. And you yes. changed the name to Numu. I think it was as, uh, earlier this year, last year? Yes, at Expo West. At Expo West. Yes. Um, the new Moo, how has that change uh, been received in the industry? It's been, you know, really well received. We've been getting a lot of retail interest and uh, consumer interest and just getting it out there more and educating the consumer about what the product is. Let's talk about your retail and distribution footprint at this point. You know, where are you sold and where are you trying to go at this point? We're in a variety of retailers in the Northeast. We're also in Mid-Atlantic Whole Foods, uh, launching in Whole Foods South, uh, hopefully by October, if not by January and uh, South Pacific Whole Foods. And is that really where the interest is really centralized uh, in terms of you know super premium uh, dairy alternatives? I believe so, yeah. I mean, it kind of starts on the coast, right? West Coast, uh, New York, metro markets, but it is making its way towards you know other markets as well and trying to keep our footprint uh, based on the West Coast and East Coast only for now. Now the formulation of your products, uh, that's really you know, a strong differentiator for you versus other nut yes. milks out there. You're, you're HPP'd, you, know, you do something that called cold milling of your nuts. Uh, most people know what HPP is and what it does for uh, a liquid. What does cold milling do for, a nuts that kind of, that, uh, for nuts that really helps your brand to stand out? Well, all the fiber is in the product and it's actually a zero waste formula. So everything that goes in there, which is 100% real organic ingredients, uh, like whole vanilla bean, whole dates, whole nuts, gets finely milled into our product. So what we end up with is a lot of fiber and zero waste, food waste at all, which, you know, um, is becoming a huge issue uh, with a lot of these cold pressed juices because they generate so much food waste. So that includes, are you talking about the seeds and the skins as well? Everything's included? Everything's in there. They're really interesting. So cold milling, you know, that's uh, sort of reflected, or that call is sort of reflected in the, uh, the new labels that you have. Uh, really nice, that white, uh, white across the line. You know, why is that important? Why, would you, why is it important to, to, uh, to change the labels that you had from before, which were just printed on the bottle? Right. Well, the products do have sort of like a natural settling to them, which we want to showcase, but we also want the label to be extremely legible on shelf. And we view it to be very important that you can actually see the product. So this was kind of, you know, the best of both worlds for us in and terms of a format. And that's kind of, you know, once we decided that's what we wanted, that's where we kind of took the design process. Okay. And also, you know, as far as the, the multi-serves, these are new at the show. Yes. Um, when do these launch and, you know, what's the interest in launching a multi-serve product? They launch in February of next year. Uh, the interest of launching them is, you know, we've done really well with our single serve varieties, but we needed something that was pure, that wasn't sweet, and these are literally just the main ingredient with water and sea salt. More so along the lines to pour on top of your cereal, um, bake with, uh, you know, more everyday use, whereas the grab-and-go options are based on, you know, chocolate, cold brew, vanilla bean, strawberry, so. What are the price points on these at this point? 
Uh, these are the 12 ounces are 5.99 and the 32 ounces are 7.99. We're looking to drop both by a dollar, hopefully in the middle of next year. And how do you hope to achieve the the price uh, decrease? Uh, you know, variety of different reasons uh, <laughs> or ways. So we'll get there. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, Joe, I really appreciate the time. Thanks so much, and uh, good luck in the future. Thanks. All right.